Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pinion. I bring you today's word for April 26, 2016. Before I get into the message, I want to give you once again a missions update because my wife and the missions team are still in Dominica. They'll be there through Friday. Let me give you a quick update. So yesterday, the team, they pur purchased groceries and cleaning supplies and hygienic supplies for the Rozo Infirmary. This is an elderly home uh, that they've been ministering at and uh, has 92 residents. Also for the grotto, which is a home for the homeless. And then they're also going to create bags for the elderly and for the children in Ben's Village and in Pai Bush. And I hope I'm saying that right. But uh, the team is, is doing well. They're, they're being a blessing. Uh, God used this Bella Miley to preach the word on Sunday. And we're thankful. So for those of you that received the email, there's a link to look at some of the pictures. Uh, if you want to donate, uh, if you want to support what God has called us to do, you can go to ripministries.org, R-I-P ministries.org slash donate. You'll be able to see that there. And then you can follow us on, uh, you know, see what's going on on Rip Ministries on the website or on Instagram at Rick Pina on Facebook uh, at facebook.com forward slash Rip Ministries. So Rick and Isabella Pina Ministries, that's R-I-P Ministries. Now that's out of the way. Let's get into the word. So we've been flowing in this vein on dying to self. And yesterday I shared a message with you where I showed scripture after scripture after scripture, how the Father's in you, the Holy Ghost is in you, Jesus is in you. And I talked about this reality of dying to self and realizing that God himself is in you and you can live God inside minded. Well, today I'm going to flow in that same vein. I'm not going to go over all those verses. I'm just going to go back to one verse that I shared with you yesterday. And the title of today's message is from salvation to evangelism. So from salvation to evangelism, Jesus said in John 14, 9 and 20. 19 and 20, he said, before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live. You will also live on that day. You will realize that I am in the father. You are in me and I am in you. He says on that day, there's coming a day where you will realize that I am in the father, that you are in me and that I am in you. There's a there's a reality that we must get to that. I, that we as born again believers are in Christ and that Christ is also in us. What does this mean to you today under the theme, the topic from salvation to evangelism? I have five things to share with you. And I, I believe that today's message is a very important message. Open up your heart to hear the voice behind the voice, to hear the word behind the word, to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to you as I release this. Number one, salvation is about receiving Jesus as Lord and then accepting the fact that you are in Christ. So first of all, if you have never accepted Jesus as Lord and you're watching this video, today is your day. Open up your heart. Call upon Jesus. Just ask him to save you and he will. Uh, I didn't know any scriptures when I got saved, August 27, 1995. I just said, Lord, I don't know what this saved thing is that people keep talking about, but I know I don't have it. I want it. Would you save me? And he did that night. So accepting Jesus as Lord, salvation is about really just, you know, accepting him, embracing him, making him your Lord, making him your savior, and then accepting the fact that you are in Christ. However, evangelism is about accepting the fact that Christ is in you. So it's one thing for you to be in Christ, that's salvation. It's something else for you to realize that Christ is in you. Now, when you realize that Christ is in you, that changes things. Number two, once you are in Christ, then you know you're not going to hell. Once you know Christ is in you, and you embrace that reality, now you are really actually in position to make a difference in the earth. Not by your power, not by your strength, not by your human ability, no. Not by more trying, but simply by more dying and by yielding to the Christ that is in you. You being in Christ is one thing, but Christ being in you is something else. Number three, Jesus did not die just so you could have fire insurance. Yeah, you didn't want to go to hell. I didn't want to go to hell either. But now that you're born again, you're not going to hell. Okay, fine. You have fire insurance, but Jesus didn't just die for that. Once you're born again and you know you're not going to hell, the question then becomes, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? I mean, now that you're born again, you know you're not going to hell and you're still here. What are you going to do? Your goal should be then to decrease in your power, your ability, your strength, and to allow God, the Christ that's in you, to increase and to flow through you. Number four, the power of God comes to you in salvation, but the power of God flows through you in evangelism. So in salvation, the power of God is coming to you. In evangelism, the power of God is flowing through you. And the purpose of salvation is evangelism. The purpose of the power of God coming to you is so that it can flow through you. Number five, and finally, if all God wanted for you was salvation, 
and you've already accepted Jesus as Lord, then you wouldn't be watching this video. You would have died already and you would have gone on to heaven. If you're still living, if there is air still flowing through your lungs, if there is blood still flowing through your veins, it is because God is not through with you. Your assignment is not complete. Your purpose is not fulfilled. Your potential is not tapped. You are still in the earth because God wants to use you to leave a mark in this world that will not be easily erased. The only way to do that, though, is by dying to self, by yielding to him. As you die, he will live. As you yield, he will flow. As you cooperate, he will operate. As you decrease, he will increase in, with, and through, through you. So here's the big question. Will you allow God, because he's not going to force you, will you allow God to work through you? If you will, you will experience a, a life of no limits because there are no limits in God. So the day you get to the point where you like, I'm decreasing and I'm going to allow God to flow through me will be the day that you start living a limitless life. Because once it's God working through you, giving you the words, performing the work, then you have no limits because there are no limits in him. We serve a limitless God. And so at that point, you get to experience the life that he destined for you to have. The, the life that he planned for you to have from the foundations of the world so that you can become the man, the woman that God has called and destined, designed, desires for you to be. You decrease, you die so that he can increase, he can live through you. Salvation was for you. Evangelism is for others. So let's close this out with a declaration of faith. Speak this over your life in faith from a believing heart. Say, Father, this is a season of refined focus for me. I bring my life into focus in 2016 by dying to self. Now, you saved me from sin, from hell, and from the grave. You delivered me from both the power of death and the fear of death. When my body dies, I will not die. I will simply move from earth to glory, from time to eternity, from mortal to immortality. So since my salvation is secure, in Christ, my focus now is evangelism. I am in Christ, but Christ is also in me. Me being in Christ was for me. Christ being in me is for others. So I live my life now with a focus on dying to self and allowing Christ to live through me. The world will see Jesus in me because I yield to you, Father, every day of my life. I will not die because I'm sick. I will not die because I'm old. I will not die because of some freak accident. I will only die because I'm done. <laughs> when your assignment for my life is complete, that's when I'll leave this place and I'll go on to glory. From this day forward, I live my life for you. My life is all about you. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Look on the right-hand side of the website. Sign up, get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. As you head into this day, just remember, salvation was for you. Evangelism is for others. The power of God has come to you. Now you must yield to him so the power of God can flow through you. And if you do, you will leave a mark in this world that will never be erased. God bless you.